Hotels is the uh, leading uh, U.S.-based global third-party hotel management company. Uh, we have uh, nearly 400 hotels and over 70,000 rooms under management. Uh, we're owned uh, by a 50-50 joint venture between Thayer Lodging and Jinjiang Hotels. Uh, we manage 40 flags uh, and we're the largest third-party operator outside the brand uh, for uh, flags like Hyatt, um, Marriott, Starwood, and IHG. What we did is uh, we, we announced our, our efforts related to our overall IT transformation, uh, focusing primarily on our migration or adoption of the cloud uh, as a means or a mechanism to provide infrastructure for our uh, hotel platform. Um, and really that came about, uh, I joined Interstate about uh, two and a half years ago, uh, specifically to oversee this transformation. Um, and we were at a decision point where our existing servers were end of life. Uh, they didn't have capacity to meet uh, the significant growth objectives that our new owners had set out for us. And we really needed to bolster our disaster recovery and business continuity capabilities. So in looking at what our options were, we elected to go to the cloud. Um, now you always hear a number of things about what the cloud is, what it isn't, uh, you know, whether it's the ability to access your, your systems and servers over the internet, whether it's the ability to quickly uh, deploy emerging technology, whether it's the ability to uh, avoid investment in expensive infrastructure, and it's all of those things. But for us, it was really more about being able to keep up with that constant downward pressure on the cost of computing resources, memory, storage, and those types of things, and, and put ourselves in a position to be able to grow in an effective and efficient way. For, for one thing, I think it really represents what Interstate is all about. It's looking forward, not back, leading, not following, uh, and never just being uh, uh, complacent about success, always raising the bar. So uh, moving to the cloud has allowed us to leverage our supplier's investment in uh, world-class infrastructure. And we now operate uh, out of not one, but two data centers. Uh, and there's automatic, uh, automated data replication between those uh, data centers, which would allow us to, you know, should we lose our primary data center, we could have our systems back up and running in a matter of hours in our secondary data center. So it's a significant increase or enhancement in the quality of the infrastructure that we're able to run and support our uh, owners on. And we feel that that capacity for growth and the quality of that infrastructure is a significant differentiator for Interstate. Capacity for growth, uh, the, the um, ability to, to have a, a true disaster recovery business continuity capability on the infrastructure, uh, but also to have uh, you know, a world-class supplier who was managing and monitoring that environment for us seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year is, is, is a level of service that was beyond what we were able to provide solely on our own, uh, on our own, on our own back. You know, I, I think, uh, again, going back to the growth, if we look back two and a half years ago and the amount of growth that Interstate has undergone to go from 200 to 300 and now approaching 400 hotels, the infrastructure that we were on uh, could not, would not have supported that. So to be able to have achieved that growth is, is a, uh, a manifestation of one of the core uh, reasons that we, that we took that migration on. Also, by getting out of uh, what I call the infrastructure management business, right? You know, our group used to be focused on keeping the lights on day to day, uh, just trying to keep put, you know, putting out fires. 
um, we were able to shift that focus uh, to be more on delivering innovation. So we were able to uh, roll out uh, a mobile app that provides a, a digital dashboard, if you will, of key performance indicators uh, that our owners can access and see at a glance day by day how their hotels are doing, see monthly snapshots, daily snapshots, any report that's available uh, on our platform they're able to, to pull up on an iPad or an iPhone. So it's an effective, efficient way to communicate results to them and they're always in the loop in terms of how they're doing. Interstate intelligence is a uh, means to describe the, the capabilities, uh, expertise, and experience that Interstate brings as the leading third-party uh, hotel management company. Uh, it's based on five pillars, uh, so I'll go through those with you real quick. Uh, the first is Interstate Ignition, which refers to how our expertise in local area, local market, uh, understanding allows us to quickly and efficiently uh, transition hotels, any hotel, anywhere in the world, uh, onto our platform. The second pillar is interstate intelligence, which refers again to our broad industry expertise, uh, but also the fact that we have in-house specific expertise. The third pillar is interstate integration, which is our uh, focus of using regional teams to bring the power of that big platform to bear at the local level for one owner, one hotel at a time. Um, so, you know, thinking globally but acting locally, if you will. Um, the third is uh, Interstate Insights, uh, which relates to IHR1, our leading edge technology platform, our business intelligence platform that I mentioned earlier in terms of being able to offer that up over iPad and, and iPhone. Um, and then finally, the, the, the fifth pillar of that um, uh, is Interstate Intuition, which reflects, you know, when you're managing 40 flags, 400 hotels around the world, the diversity of that experience, of that skill set being brought to bear uh, at each hotel around the world uh, is a significant part of what makes Interstate so special. My favorite breakfast cereal. Uh, I think that would have had to have been Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries.